monitor. This is an original story based on an idea from a commercial. One day when I left the, the womb of my mother, I suddenly had a heartbeat. I was a social experiment the day I was set first into life. The first day I set foot into this life. The first time I had my heartbeat actually monitored. It was hard to tell. It was hard to tell originally because it came from my mother, but now it's easy to track down. As soon as I got out of the womb, they strapped me in with a device that could not be removed at any circumstance. If it does, I will die. They inserted a chip into my heart. Every single time the every single time my heart would beat, the chip would sound. No matter what I did to the chip, it would never stop until the day I died. You're wondering what got it it's, what got this whole chip thing in the first place? Well, here's my backstory. Turns out my mother and father wanted to have a baby together. And the doctor said, Hey, what if we track down somebody's heartbeat for the rest of their life up till they're born? They agreed, and so, as soon as I was born, which was quite recently in this everlasting fourfold breaking flashback, they inserted a chip, and now I'm part of their family. People at school used to make fun of me. What a loser. Mm. But it didn't bother me. I had friends. Somebody that thought it was really cool. Hi, what's your name? Glamrock Chica. Yours? Oh, no, I'm Bonnie. Would you like to be friends? Sure, what classes do you have? I have science and math. What do you have? Hmm, same thing. Wait, what teacher do you have? Hmm. I have Rockstar Foxy. What about you? I do too. Hey, do you want to meet up after school and talk and study with me? Sure. Then later on, we started to develop a crush on each other. That was when I found out she had a boyfriend. This is how I knew. Okay, so one day I started flirting with her. Ooh, what a nice day we're having. Yeah. So, uh, we're, since we're done with our studying, do you want to hang out for a bit? Yeah. So, what should we talk about? Mmm. Um. I wanted to say this for a long time. Yeah? I, hmm. Then he was walking down the hall as we were saying that. I, I like your hair. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I like your bow tie, too. Thank you. You're nice. Mwah! Oh my god, she just kissed me. What? Oh, nothing. <laughs> so, what should we do? Then he started getting jealous. And that, a good, that gets no good when somebody is jealous. Hey, Glamrock Chica? Yeah? I just wanted to tell you something real quick. Yeah? What is it? I kind of sort of liked you. you. In the friend way? No, 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 no. I meant to say I like like you. I, I, I love you. Uh, I love you too, Bonnie. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, here. Oh, you silly goose. You didn't let me finish my sentence. Hey, what do you think you're doing here with my girl? Flirting with my girl like that? That is not cool. You know what? You know what? Let's battle. You and me. Come on, Chip. Let's go. Oh. Go. Ow. Okay. It's gonna be on.
Uh, then suddenly, my heart rate... It... 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 it expanded. Ooh, fight! Fight, 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 fight. Come on, Tramp! Yeah, let's go! Well, yeah! Bring it on! Ah, get off me! Ooh! Then suddenly something happened. Bring it on! You think? Couple inches away, he missed me. He missed me! Bring it on! Get off me! Ha! I won! But then I figured out, I punched him so hard that I... I killed him! <gasps> Chad! Oh my god, get out of my way! <gasps> Ow! What about me? I won the fight! We're done! You know what? You know what? Just because of your stupid shenanigans, you didn't let me finish my sentence! I liked you as a friend! And also, you know what? Since you did that, we're no longer friends anymore. Have take that. Stupid. I would date a homeless man. I would date uh I would date that nerd over there. You see him? You see him? <laughs> yeah, I'd rather date him than you. You know what? Don't ever talk to me again, creep. Creep? Oh my god, she called me a creep. Ah! My heart didn't break, but it felt at that moment. I was done for. It felt like my heart was being broken by a million pieces. And even more. It's that stupid Josh's fault. If he didn't want to start the fight, maybe I wouldn't have punched his guts out. <sighs> I can't move, though. Don't want to get up. The others watched in horror. Can you help me? No, you're a loser. No, no thank you. Uh, I don't want to get involved. Me neither. Nope. Uh, calm down, Funtime Freddy. Uh, calm down. Or are you going to go insane? I know, Bon Bon. I'm trying. I think I might have to step out of the room. Then he went outside. Then he went outside. And. And then he sat there. And then somebody kicked him in the face and then he fell. He didn't die. He landed in a parachute from the last project. He didn't die. Bon Bon, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> bon Bon. I, I don't know anymore. It's okay. Shh. It's okay. We will get through there. There is a light. How do you know that? You always just... You always... Ugh. So hard to say this. You always made me lose at the security guard at sister location. How can I know to trust you anymore? <sighs> because... I care for you. And there's nothing I will ever do to change that. Really, Bon Bon? I do it. I mean it. Cross my little old heart and hope to die. Bon Bon, come here. Oop. Thank you, Bon Bon, for showing me the significance of this whole situation. So, where should we go? I think we should go... <sighs> I think we should go somewhere out of this situation. Okay? That's okay with you. You know, like, 
as friends. Bon Bon, stop acting skittish for no reason. I'm not skittish! <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. Aw, Bon Time Freddy. You're so sweet. Thank you, Bon Bon. Anyway, so... You wanna go? Where? To, uh... A restaurant. Actually, I would. Also, happy holidays. Happy holidays, everyone. Rihanna's birth... I mean, the creator's... The creator's birthday's in December 11th. If you didn't see anything. Anyways, we're gonna go to a local restaurant. And take a, a little break from this whole situation. Have a nice day. And happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And have a happy new year. For 2022 or 2021, I hope. If this whole pandemic goes through. Yeah. Bye. Okay, that was dramatic. Everyone else just ran out of there. <gasps> no! Glamour oh. <clears throat> chicken. I'll be good. Glamrock Chica? Yes? I was gonna go <coughs> ask you to the prom, but <coughs> it seems it's too late now. Anyways, I would have accepted. I was just so mad. I thought you, you were... No. He didn't let me finish his sentence. Oh. But... <coughs> I thought he was... Better than me. No one could be better than you. Nobody. Aw, thank you. You're welcome. Also, <coughs> I fear it's too late for me. Uh, wh what do you mean? My time has come. <gasps> what time? Glamrock Chica, I need to tell you something very important. Yes? I, I wanted you... Will you marry me? Yes! Okay. Now we got that covered. Now I can rest easy. Ensure that my death is worth it. Death? No! Get up! Glamrock Chica. I have one more special thing to <coughs> say. What is it? I, I always loved you. I hope you know that. And I fear it's too late for me. <laughs> Go find someone else. I will never forget your loss, dear friend. Or should I say, dear Chad, my long amore. That was cringe, yeah. Hold up. Cut, that was cringe. Take two. <laughs> Glamrock Chica, I have something special to say. Yeah. Yeah? I fear I cannot live on with a life like this. It's my pain and sorrow. You'll have to find someone else. I'm afraid I can't stay. Why not? I'm just afraid that's how life goes. Glamrock Chica, I know you'll take care of, uh, I know you'll take care of the things. I hope. I think you'll take care of the stuff we have, all our memories and stuff. Yes! I will! Cherish them for me, okay? Okay. Also. I love you. N goodbye. Here I rest. I cannot live on. <gasps> Don't say that! You have to live on. You'll always live on in my heart. So will you. One final goodbye kiss. Yes. <laughs> Ew, that's gross. Shut up, okay? <laughs> okay, that is just wrong. Excuse me while I go climb the border. Have fun. Glamrock Freddy. Ugh. He's disgusting.
And that's when I figured out. She was already taken. Not by me. By someone else. And I just ended their life. Forever. Now she hates me. Still to this day, she does. She didn't even visit any time. She didn't call back. This is all your fault! <coughs> also, my parents died. I know, sad. I know, sad. But I did have one more friend that looked after me. It was Fun Time Freddy. He was always there for me when I needed him the most. He was a good friend. The only reason he didn't do anything about it or didn't interfere is because he doesn't like causing conflict. Or at least any towards me. Don't worry, all of this will pass. Everything will be okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, it will pass through time. Shush. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, so, uh, yeah. And that's the time we spent. But one day, one day, when I was going home from school, my heart stopped. That was the day when my heart stopped. I was walking home with Freddy until... It stopped pumping. I fainted on the ground. I could only hear so many words at one time. Before I collapsed, Funtime Freddy said, We'll get you some help. I promise. Soon later, I was dragged to the hospital. In a hospital bed. Clear! <laughs> Clear! <laughs> we cannot save him. Apparently, the machine stopped. So did my heart. I had so much anxiety that my heart just stopped. All because of that track race. And also because of the breakup. Funtime Freddy, we cannot save your friend. No! Please tell me you'll speak to me. Get the hell out of here. Sorry. Here you do. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> Anyways, I'm gonna start with this dramatic scene, okay? <gasps> Bonnie! Speak to me, buddy. Speak to me. Please. Fun time, Freddy. What? Please. <laughs> go home. Why would I do that if I could stay here with my friend? Yeah. Finally, Bon Bon, you're not ruining something. Hey. <laughs> Cut. Bon Bon has the coronavirus. Anyways, on to the sad and dramatic scene. But the doctor's just sitting there like, what the fuck? This was a doctor when he was a kid. Nice inference, me. Anybody else that got that point? Good job. Also, back to Bonnie. 